TikTok around the clock, 5 p.m. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? I'm Sean Scully, your host of TikTok Around the Clock, and welcome back to episode nine. Today, I'm just hanging out in Hollywood in my dad's office. Believe it or not, I actually moved here like eight years ago, which is crazy to think when I, I was 15 when I moved here. I, I came here to pursue acting, and I've had so many auditions. I've had good ones, I've had bad ones, but I wanna tell you guys a quick story of like the worst audition I've ever had. So it was for like this Disney audition, and I had to like sing, and I could not sing a note. But at that time, I was like, yeah, I can do anything. Like I can learn how to sing, I can do this, I can do that. And I remember the song I had to sing was, uh, uh, it was a Bruno Mars song. I can't remember it at the top of the moment. But I remember I walked in there and like I sang this song and I was so bad. Like I was so bad. And I remember the, the cast directors were laughing. I thought I was good. Like, I was like, yeah, like how did they, they loving me? And they're like, Sean, if you can't sing, don't say you can sing. Just do stuff that you can do and don't try to be something you're not. And I've never, I've always took that advice with me from that. So I've always remembered to just be myself and always to just, not try so hard, not try to, to, to have people like me or anything like that. I just, I'm just sitting up here just thinking about how far I've come, you know, and I'm just thankful for where I'm at right now, and I'm thankful for you guys. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am actually sitting in front of Capitol Records right now. And everyone from Johnny Cash, Nat King Cole, The Beatles, The Beastie Boys, 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg, Katy Perry, just everyone you can imagine has literally walked through those doors behind me. And it's just crazy to think, you know? But I got an exciting show for you today. I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five prank videos. And at the end, I'm gonna be showing you guys the basics of TikTok. I realize that some of you guys don't really know the app, so I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit. So at number five, we have a post by Made It By Casey. Check it out. Oh, he's calling when you're in the office. He ain't never in the message. Alright, over. Hello? Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm... Is that the Hey, is Tufak available? Mr. Tufak? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Tufak. No? I'm looking for someone to fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a wrong number, sorry. Okay, bye. really like about that video is you can totally tell it's real. Like I feel like sometimes people try to like act out or like choreograph these pranks and you can totally tell it's fake. But this one I love it because you can definitely tell it's real. This is actually a little fun fact for all you I Love Lucy fans. Behind me is a sign called the Broadway Hollywood. And believe it or not, it was actually the background to Lucy's hotel room when they shot all of the Hollywood episodes here. And this building behind me, uh, the building that's called the Knickerbocker, is where the actor who played Fred Mertz actually lived in real life. And for all you people who don't know I Love Lucy, it's the season finale to Will and Grace. Uh, at number four, we have Lance. Check him out. This is the disappearing finger trick. Stick a finger out. Okay, ready? I'm gonna move it forward. Okay, now open your eyes. <laughs> this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about when I say like it's a fake scenario. Like you can definitely tell like that prank was set up and acted out, but the reason, <laughs> The reason I like it so much is because I had so many questions after watching that video. Like, how do you come up with a prank that starts with you putting Nutella on your finger and making it look like your girlfriend stuck her finger up your ass? Like, I just, it just makes me laugh, to be honest with you. Honestly, I just, I don't, it just, yeah, it just makes me laugh. Uh, a little fun fact, actually, we are right down the road from an apartment complex called 1600 Vine. And that's actually where Lance and Logan Paul used to live, but, Lance actually got kicked out because he got too many complaints for doing Vine videos and Logan Paul moved out to his mansion where he lives right now, so yeah. At number three, we have a post by Not So Nice Nick. Check it out. Much awaited video, read this out loud. I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> I shit myself. Read it fast. I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it? I shook myself. You what? I shook myself. 
<laughs> keep going, keep going. I shit myself. Say it louder. I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> you, Say it loud. Keep going. <laughs> Do you, you get it? Get it? Read it one no. more time. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going one more time. Hurry. Right. We're, 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 <laughs> we're running out of time. One more time. I shit myself. <laughs> I shit myself. I shit myself. I shit myself. Like, I love that she just can't figure it out. It's like every time she says it, it just gets funnier and funnier because she's trying to figure it out. I love that video. Uh, we were actually to a block away from uh, Hollywood and Vine and Sunset and Vine. And that's actually where the walk of fame starts. Like, you know, like you see all the stars on the street when you walk along, when you walk along the sidewalk? Like, that's called the walk of fame. So if you guys ever come to Hollywood, you guys definitely need to check that out. And number two, we have a post by Ruthanna Beach. Check it out. Did they hang up? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hello? What do you mean I didn't book the part? I'm better than like half of those guys in there. Oh, uh, you know what? No, hold on. There's only one thing I have to say to that. Ready? That is like the most savage way to deal with telemarketers. I get those calls all the time, so you definitely know I'm gonna use that. And actually behind this wall is the Hollywood Hills. That's where the Hollywood sign is. That's where Leonardo, Brad Pitt, like every movie star you can think of lives in those hills. And of course, at number one, we have a post by Brooke Roberts. Check it out. Dude, that's too far. Dude, that's too far. That's so <laughs> dangerous. Oh, oh shit! Oh, my God. What's happening? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my Jesus God! Jesus Christ, what's happening? Oh my God! We almost had a head on with a <laughs> truck. <laughs> Where's oh, the fucking truck? It fucking passed. Listen, there would be a truck going off in the distance. <laughs> At least I can clean that up. What if I died of a heart attack? You guys literally made your dad piss himself. Like if that was my dad, it would be, no, dad, please don't. No, dad, stop. Last little fun fact about this location. We are actually right down the road from the Kodak Theater. That's where they host the Oscars. And also, Jimmy Kimmel Live. And if you ever watch Jimmy's background, just check the top right corner and you'll see Capitol Records. Those are my top five prank videos. Now it's time to show you guys a little tutorial of how to do TikTok. Let's go. All right, so for this episode's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to operate TikTok. I realize a lot of you are very new, so you probably don't know how to use it. So I just wanna give you a rundown of how to operate the app. Okay, so this is the home page. You have two categories. You have for you and following over here. So right now I'm on the for you page. The for you page is basically TikTok's algorithm that brings videos that you might like. So let's say you look up a lot of dance videos, uh, a lot of dance videos are gonna pop up because you because you look at that content and, for, and TikTok wants to bring you videos that you will like. So everybody's For You page is different. It's basically a, uh, a page that's connected to each, each account in particular, you know? Uh, the following is all the accounts that you follow, you know? Uh, so if you, if every account that you follow, that's gonna be the, on the following. Um, right here is going to be the search bar. This is where all the top trends are. So you have college memories, voiceovers, pro gamers. Those are all the trends. Um, up here where search bar, you can look up people's, um, um, page and stuff like that. So this middle button is where you have, uh, where you're going to shoot a video. So if you want to shoot, start creating content, you're going to push that middle button. Uh, over here is going to be where all your, your, where all your notifications are. So if someone likes your video, if people follow you, if someone's going live, Someone comments, this is where all that uh, notifications are gonna pop up. So on this bottom, bottom right hand corner, you're gonna, it says me, that's where your account's gonna be. So if you have any videos that you posted, uh, that's all gonna be where that is. Like all your bio, your Instagram links, your profile, 
um, over here, this is where all your videos that you like. So if you like a video, you can always go back to them. It's this little heart in the top right corner with the little, with the little lock on there. So, and of course, if you want to follow someone, you just literally click this little plus sign. So see how it's like this, they have, they have the, his account, the heart, I can like it. I can do comments over here. Um, if I want to send it to someone, I can do this little arrow and I can send it to people I want to. If I want to follow someone, I just click the little press mark, the little, uh, uh, plus sign. That was what it called. Yeah. The plus sign. Uh, so you just click that. If I want to go to their profile, I just hit the little thing, I hit their picture and it brings me to their profile. So yeah, that's, uh, that's TikTok. Thank you so much for tuning into episode nine, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and comment below any tutorials or anything you guys would like to see. And also, remember to turn on your push notifications so you know when we posted a video. I really enjoy just talking about LA with you guys, you know? Like, I live here, so all this, like, I see every day. But I know for some of you guys, you guys have never been here, so this is actually interesting. So, you know, maybe in another episode, I'll take you around LA and show you some famous spots that I know of and give you guys a little insight. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little, I'm just getting a little emotional right now. Um, it's just kind of crazy to me, like, how, how fast life goes and how far I've come. And I don't mean to make it about myself or anything like that, but I just feel like I've been through been through a lot you know like just people telling me no and not not a lot of people supporting me and just feeling like I'm alone out here and to just see like the distance that I've come it's just like really gotten to me to be honest with you um yeah it's just <laughs> it's just crazy you know I'm doing what I love to do yeah wow it's just crazy this week's advice is gonna be to never give up like for me like I was just a 15 year old kid and I came here eight years ago which is like a dream that I had and now I'm here, like I'm doing movies, I'm on TV series, like this is just like something that I love. Like I never gave up and I pursued my dream. And I just wanna let you guys know, like never give up on your dreams. Like just keep doing what you wanna do. And if, and if it makes you happy, continue to do it and just persevere. Uh, this week's shout out is gonna be to Kimberly Smith. You weren't too harsh on me, so don't worry about it. Uh, I, I appreciated your advice and I really loved your insight on what you had to do. Thank you so much guys. And remember, every day is a blessing. Here's a recent post that I did. Little funny story, my friend walked in on me when I had a wig on and I locked eyes with him and he just didn't even say anything. He just walked in the room. Check it out. All right, son, this is a lie detector. It's gonna beep every time you're not telling the truth. So I'll ask you again. Were you at school today? I already told you, dad. Yeah, of course I was. You sure about that? Okay, okay, okay. I went and had a beer with my friends. You see, this is the kind of behavior I'm talking about. I was never drinking at your age. <laughs> well, I guess he really is your son. Honey? What the f